Hello and welcome. Today we are taking a look at Pocket Legend. This is an inventory managing deck builder being developed and published by Shading Box, who are also sponsoring this video. So we're, we're jumping into uh, into this world where our inventory is sort of like the sort of like mana. We're going to find a bunch of different items and depending on how we put those items in our inventory, then that's how we will fight or defend or whatever. So anyway, the demo is is here now on Steam. There are links down below. Thanks again, Shading Box, for, for sponsoring today. Uh, but you can click on that that link, which will take you and check out the uh, the demo to see what this is all about. Uh, we have two characters for the demo. We just have one character, which is old Blitz here. And, and the story goes, we're going to skip the story mode tutorial. I'll sum up for you if you want to see the story. Well, you can have to download the demo. Blitz is a high schooler teleported to this, uh, to this world where all these weird uh, talking... Uh, weapons who have been infused with souls are going to come in and help us out. So let's begin. Now, before we begin, we have to choose. Do we want gold? Do we want more items? Do we want inventory space? The inventory space is like, this is the game, is dealing with this inventory space. So we're going to show it off right now. I have a tiny little inventory box, and as I play the game, that will grow. And this is all sort of, the whole game is surrounded by is is about this managing system and how we put things in our inventory like is there space around them what goes what goes with other inventory things anyway we shall see we got health we got coins we got uh, uh crystal things we've got a map we've got our our cars that are in our inventory right now for instance this sword has an eyeball because it has a soul in it and the story goes where we're trying to like stop folks from stealing souls and using other things that are infused with souls to help fight these things but anyway the sword will do two damage to the enemy you know, click attack the guy, but it has to be in an inventory, and I'll show you that when we get when we get into it. There's our inventory right now, and we're gonna go in. We're gonna go visit an event to start off with. This is all randomized. The event apparently is a snake belt. Oh, that guy, he's going to hit me for four damage. That really not ha that not happen. There's my health. Well, there's my health. There's his health. The way I use these things, I can, normally you know you click and you sort of throw them at the guy. It doesn't work that way. It works where we have to go and get this guy and put it in my inventory. Now that it's in my inventory, I can right-click it, and it works. Now, as the game goes on, of course, I will find more interesting things that will, like, charge up these weapons. Or will add combos to the weapons to where they work better with certain things, you know, that kind of stuff. So we've got this shield here, old Duban, who's going to be two defense. So we'll throw Duban in, like, there. Right-click. We got that. And then uh, this guy can come in... We tuck him, tuck him in there, I suppose. This one is too big. It doesn't fit. I can't use it. Right-click. Use it. I got five defense now. In turn. Blocked. Okay, so now, what do we do? We can just keep on using the things that we've got in our inventory. Or, we can replace things. And so, he's going he's gonna to do what? He's going to get three strength this turn. Uh, I got a new one. The siren, siren here is four damage to an enemy, and it also gives me one additional damage for every empty neighboring tile. So what we're going to do is we'll chuck these out. We're going to put this sword in here, uh, which one's going to give me more? More uh, that'll give me more neighboring tiles. I like guess so all those are empty neighboring tiles. It's going to do a lot of damage. I can make it even more damage by adding in increased weapon damage by one. Yeah, pop that on there. There we go. Now we're doing ten damage. We're going to right click. Take that damage. Now, we've got this. I didn't put the sword in yet. I could have, but I would have gotten less damage there because of the whole empty spaces. But now that I've used that, I'm going to go ahead and pop this guy in there. And then we'll use this one. Okay. And we'll pop this one in over here. And we'll use the defense, which we don't actually don't need. It. it saves. Or it does not save. So each. It'll go away. Now he's going to hit me for seven because he charged himself up. If we can hit him for 19 damage, we'll be in good shape. Uh, but we cannot. So we're going to try to avoid that seven damage as best as we can. Uh, I will not be able to do it real well. I can get five of it defended, so I would just hit him. I guess I could go, I could defend it all the way, actually, if I take this sword out and put this one in. There's some defense, and I can throw this little guy in here and get a couple damage on him. There we go. There's different colors of cards. Different colors of cards mean different, mean, like, whether they're doing damage, like a red one here. A blue one's going to do a block. The yellow one is is a, uh, a skill to enhance other items, like we saw before, where it will increase the damage uh, of them. I got the Siren guy back, and I think I want to use it. He's just going to charge himself up, so I'm going to get rid of these. I'm going to do what I did before, I think. I'm going to toss these out. I'll put Siren in to get as much as I can. Uh, I could do something like Sacrifice. We'll try this. This might work. My, my mathing correctly. We can sharpen blade, and sharpen blade has a 
square. So we will sharpen both those blades. This one does nine damage now because of uh, that's in blocking one of those spaces, but that one does now, now does three. So maybe it's a plus one? I don't know. We're going to hit him. Like that. And then uh, we don't need to use shield because he's going to be not hitting us. And of course, as time goes on, we'll get more creatures, but we're not actually attacking this specific one. We just sort of attack whatever is closest to us, typically. And then damage the nearby enemy. There we go. And one more. Got him. Okay, take that belt. All right, we got some gold. We got an inventory tile we can add on. Excellent. Something like that will be all right. And then we can get a card. Uh, zero damage to a far away enemy. Increase damage by one for every card in my hand. Oh, that's a bow. Uh, remove one wraith piece every turn and gain two strength. Stuck. Uh, and then we got a book of the dead. Three damage to a random enemy when using consume. Uh, I'll take the bow and see what happens. So you can see the bow only takes up two squares. This one takes up a lot of squares. This one takes up four squares. One wraith piece every turn and gain two strength. That could be really good. But I'm going to try the little guy. I think I might get more use out of it. Okay, we got a bonfire to go get ourselves healed up. Uh, or we can we can clean up our, our deck at the bonfire. I guess we toss them in the fire or something. We're going to go check out this other event down here. Normally you see when fights are coming. I was kind of surprised that event ended up being a, a fight. Anyway, a chest. There might be something here. We can walk away. Or we can go and take a look. I'll take a look. We found a skull flag. Deal three damage to all enemies at the start of every turn. I like the sound of that. Excellent. So we're going to fight down here, or we can go rest. I don't need to rest yet, so we're going to go and do some fighting. And I I assume at the start of every turn, three damage. That seems good. Uh, he didn't hit me for, for four damage. His thing is uh, he gets one strength when taking damage. So whenever I hit him, he's going to hit harder, basically. Um, so I think it might be better, actually, to just defend this round. As much as I want to hit this guy. Because he's going to hit me. If I hit, if I hit him... He's gonna be doing two damage every time. That's a lot more than just the force. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna strengthen up and and be done with it. Uh, over here, I got my draw pile. What is what is left to grab? I've got my tree, my my uh, trash pile, and my my vanish pile. I think that's all. I really want to hit him, but I don't. I don't want to hit him. So I just hit hit for once. Oh yeah, it did go off. Okay, there it is. It did go. Nice. So it goes after he goes. Okay, so not the first turn, but after that it goes. Okay, cool. Um, all right, so he's going to get four defense. I don't need any defense, so we're going to toss this one out. This one, uh, four damage to a far away enemy. He's only one guy. And it's going to give me one more damage for every card in my hand. I got three cards, so let's go ahead and use this one real quick. Damage. Okay, and then we're going to... We can't throw it out. we got to throw it out next turn. So we'll throw in... Uh, we're just going to hit him couple times. There we go. Okay. The story goes. I'll sum up the story quickly. Um, we're just some regular dude. Walks around with a, you know, a bone necklace and an anchor earring. Uh, just a regular dude. Uh, walking around and we got teleported into this land. And each of these weapons, each of these items have a soul in them. And that's the name that we're seeing there. And... In the story mode, they're talking to us, and they're having a chat, and they're explaining what's going on and all this means. And um, so we are trying to salvage these souls and use them to stop these bad dudes from gobbling up souls. They're bringing people in the world and doing all kinds of things they shouldn't be doing with souls or something. Uh, I'm going to go and charge up these, and we're going to go and... I uh, Yeah, use that one. It's only going to do two damage, but it is a plus one because of the plus one. There we go. That seems like a damaging day. Okay. Now he's going to hit really hard. I should be able to kill him, though. Two, and yeah, you know what? So we're going to go and... I think it's better to throw this one out. Throw this one in. Because he's going to get ten damage right there. Done. Okay, I got some enhancement stones. And we can also choose to just not take one of these. Um, get two strength. Okay, one agility when an item vanishes. Agility's gonna give us armor defense. You deal three damage to a faraway enemy and remove one wraith piece. Okay. We'll see. I'm assuming we'll see wraith pieces here shortly. Um. Okay. I'll take that one. 
Alright, do we want to fight? Yeah, let's fight. More fight. That's like a flower guy. Uh, he's doing three damage, and he's also going to give him some, some self some defense. So, uh, we can sharpen a blade. We can hit the guy real hard. You know, let's hit the guy real hard. Something like that. And this does, yeah, weapon damage. Let's do that. Toss that in over there. Charge up my defense. He's going to hit one through me. And then our three goes off. Nice. So maybe for five this time. Uh, I... I'm going to use this first. Are these the ones that... Okay, that's just two damage. So let's just use... That guy. Do a little damage. I'm going to want... Two defense. I can hit him for like four, but these are the oh, these are little two ones. This will work out well. Load up my inventory and defense. Okay, there we go. We're defending the five. Are those his eyes. Weird. Okay, so he's just gonna give you two strength, which is gonna basically just give you more damage. And so I think what I can do is toss this one out and put this one in. So right now we're doing two damage. We put this one in. We're going to do four damage. Yep. There we go. Ooh, enhancement stones. Uh, these are the these are ones that we can, uh, like, uh, like uh, improve something. Enhance another thing. So we can retrieve a used item. Uh, increase weapon damage by two after creating a wraith. A wrath piece. Did I say wrath, wrath before? Wrath piece. Or use two use items two times. After I use it, vanish, vanish. Volatile cannot be used during this battle unless placed in inventory. Okay, yeah, I'll take dual wield. I think. We'll see how that one works. Uh, do we want to fight? Let's go see an event. What? The bag of air? I already have it. Huh? If you put these gloves on, your weapons will feel as light as a feather. Pretty amazing. You could swing around a huge weapon like you're waving an air guitar. But if left unattended, they will fly away. You must keep them inside the bag of air. Sure, I'll forget about them if I keep them. Why don't you use these gloves with the bag of air? What are you talking about? I get a relic. A gravity ignoring gloves. I gain bag of air if obtaining the relic. Sure. Increase reuse by one for items larger than the five. Yeah, okay. I take it. There's our way out. Our gate out of the place. Let's go stop by this relic. More chests. People just leave chests laying everywhere. Recover two hit points when winning a battle. Excellent. Excellent. What am I final? I got gloves. I got a freaky ring. I got a skull flag. What is this place? Uh, I don't need the camp. Camping's for chumps. All right. We got a, uh, a mushroom ring ring fella. Um, he's going to do what? He's going to create a sticky solution in my inventory. He's going he's gonna to mess up my inventory by putting something in there, which is going to be real annoying. Uh, I'm going to hit him with the bow first. Like that. Um... I should have done... Well, I guess it's okay. Um, I will go ahead and do that. I'll charge it up. Hit him. And I don't need to defend. This would be nice. If I win, I will get... There's my sticky stuff. And I can't move it around. It's stuck in there. Real annoying. I could have put it in the corner or something. Okay, so... Use item two times. So if I could do something like... Oh, that's real annoying. It's a real annoying spot for that. I think it's better to move this bow out. I don't know, maybe, maybe not. It's gonna do four damage if I just use it right now. He's gonna be for five, though. I might be able to actually kill him this round. Let's try something. Okay, I'm gonna put this one in here. I'm gonna dual wield it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, more inventory tiles? Nice. I can't move this thing around. It is fixed space. I'm gonna go right there and make it a nice rectangle. Um, final flying uh, increased damage of consume by 150%, 150%. Retrieve and, uh, okay. Uh, remove all wrath pieces, or wraith pieces, whichever you want it to be. This is, this is four long, so if I had increased my space, I wouldn't have use for this. Deal two damage to a nearby enemy for every zero items retrieved this turn. I don't know, I'll take that one. Okay, we got a forge, we got a battle, let's go, let's go forge. I would like... I like Siren. I want Siren to be cooler. Yep. Enhance it. Plus one to effects. Excellent. 
Excellent. Uh, do it. Do it again. Uh, not retrieve when turn ends. Oh, so it's just going to stay there. That doesn't really help me because I've been kind of using it and then chucking it and then... That's okay. Uh, we got, we'll got. we do one battle, then we'll go check the question mark out. We got uh, some some red ladies here. Uh, so I think we got to go... Oh, we, could, we could do some real na nasty damage here. They're going to hit me for three. Um, I can do... Oh, I can do some real nasty damage. If I do that, and then I sharpen it... And then I double blade it. It's going to be 17 damage? Yeah. All right. And that's persistent now. Either way, I use, I use up one of those corner ones. So we'll just do that so we can defend myself. I can get rid of this if I need to next turn and then, and then kill her. That's good stuff. I guess it's not in my... It is in my pile. Preserved. Not retrieved when... Even when turn ends. Guess I read that wrong. Guess I read that wrong. Oh well. <clears throat> uh, so you're gonna just try to charge yourself up. I don't need any defense this turn, so I'm gonna. I, think I actually can do this without without needing to move it out. Like that. Can this one hit more things? It's just gonna hit one, isn't it? I'm gonna use this one on. Increased damage of consume. I'm not sure actually how to use this one. It must be on, on something that has consume on Okay, okay. Something that has consume on it. Increased damage of consume by 100%. Switch straight from consume to vanish. Okay. So if I had something that consumes. Not, not the greatest. Uh, I got a bag of air. Thanks. Oh, I can put it in there. Um, I think I'm just gonna just gonna kill you. I think I'll throw this one out. I will put this one in. Damage. There we go. One health. No biggie. Man, nah, now it's four. Okay. Now the widow's curse increased draw limit by one. I'm going to put it in my inventory. It's stuck. Uh, deal three damage two times to a faraway enemy. Increase my damage by one once used. Uh, okay. Alright. I'm not sure I'm keen on all these new cards I'm getting. Uh, hey there, you seem to have a lot of cards on you. Do you have any cards that you aren't using? If you do, why don't you exchange them with me? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I don't... I don't know that I... Approve of this one. Maybe it's great. What'd you give me? Gain one defense, increase defense by one for every empty neighboring tile. Okay, maybe. Okay. Yeah, I'm also, my character is from like normal world. He's very confused about this whole cards and inventory system. And, he, and yeah, he's very confused. Oh, the bag of air is still here. Can't be retrieved from inventory. Can't be used. So it's just going to be there and just be in the way. It's also going to hurt my draw pile. I think I'm going to put it in there just to get it, like, from messing with my cards. Uh, I can put this one in to get some good damage. And this gives me two strength, which I think it's better to have this one first. 16 damage. And then we can put this one in and then this guy. Oh, that's a three. I looked at that wrong. Yeah, okay. There we go. There we go. Okay, he's uh he's messing up my, my area here, but it's fine. He did. Another one? Nice. I, I can't rotate it, so we're gonna put it right oh, up here. Four defense. Increase defense by two whenever using consume this turn. Four damage to a nearby enemy, increasing damage by two for every neighboring wrath piece. Great wrath piece. You know what? I don't want it. What's, what's wrath piece? What does that do? Wrath piece can gain two defense two times. No, no, you know what? I don't want no, no cards. I'm happy with what I got. I'm going to go have a little nap. I'm going to burn some cards. I'm going to burn... I want to try... I want to burn that bag. I can't, though. Um, 
Yeah, that one. Can I burn that? Cannot be removed from deck. Well, that's kind of a bummer. You know what? Maybe I, maybe, maybe I want it. Can only burn uh, like these things. Yeah. You know what? Maybe I don't want to. Oh, did, did it work? Oh, it did work. Okay. Uh, okay, done. Uh, I can get hit points. I don't need it. I'm ready to go. Let's go to the gate. Next area. This is the pathway to the next area. Going through this pathway means you won't be able to return to this area again. We should only go through once we can do everything we can here. We have done everything. Let's go. We're in blue land. We got an elite encounter. An unknown. Let's go unknown. I got too many cards for my own good. Did you know cards are... You need... The cards you need are less likely to be drawn if you have too many cards in your deck. You don't say. Um, instant vanish. Becomes immediately unusable. Uh, um, get three defense. Retrieve an item. Then draw one. It's big. I'll try it. I'll try it. Just because it has the draw in there. There's our way out. Let's go to the unknown encounter. Inventory is pretty impressive. I'll give you that. Get out of my bag. Not as impressive as enhancements, right? Tell you what. I'll change, exchange some of your inventory for enhancement stones. I lose an inventory tile, but I gain an enhancement stone. Or I lose two inventory tiles for three enhancement stones. Or a huge pile of enhancement stones. I lose three inventory tiles for six enhancement stones. Ooh, that's pretty risky. That's pretty risky. Um, I'll do two. feel like I was ripped off. Wait, what? No, no. That's great. Some armor. Increase defensive armor that are three or less tiles by one. Okay. De oh, increase. 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 Okay, I read decrease at first. And I was like, that doesn't sound like a very good relic. Uh, there's a laughing sword. Hello, sword. Uh, apparently, I didn't get rid of that. Oh, that's like a... I, I didn't get to choose. That's an off... Well, I guess it's okay, because that's going to go there. So, okay, I have this, too. For every one empty neighboring tile. That's what that's going to help out with. Oh, I should have not put that in there yet. Okay, so Bo is going to go in. Um, I'm going to hit him. We'll increase some defense. Can I retrieve like that one? Oh, I dis okay, I discard. Retrieve one item means discard. I got it. I got it. Retrieve pile. The discard pile. I get it. I get it. No, I don't want that. Okay. Oh, he's gooing me up. Um. Okay, well, this might work okay here because I can do this. I'll retrieve that and I'll get more swords. Uh, I may be hosing myself here by messing with all this stuff because I can't fix this one. In I can't fit that one in there now. Um, I'll go ahead and bow him. Like that, I guess. Okay. He's just defending himself up. Do three damage two times to a faraway enemy and decrease damage by one. Once use... Okay, it's too big. Let me, um... Let me get rid of this one. And get rid of this one. And yeah, I'll go ahead and hit him. Put this in. No three. It's not as cool as it was, but we can sharpen the blade, make it a little cooler. And then we shall hit him. Deal three damage, two times. Yeah, yeah. And then I can put that one in there. Okay. okay he's gonna hit me for six if I don't kill him. Um. So we have to defend ourselves. Let's go ahead and defend up. I don't want to go into that elite fight. All banged up. Okay, you out of here. Let's go back with this. Okay. 
hit points back. Good, good. Uh, we're going to put it right there, I guess. Increase one damage to nearby enemy. Increase damage by two when retrieving, retrieving this item. Um, two defense. Increase defense by one for every bound in inventory. Instant vanish weapon. Then get eight defense. Instant vanish. Uh, I can use one weapon and not use, and then I get eight defense. That could be really good, but I ain't taking it. It's also, it was small, too. Mwahaha! You didn't think this bridge was a trap, did you? Now, now, if you want to live, you better pay me some good money. If you don't have any money, then I'll have to, turn, to burn the bridge down. That seems like a strange, strange thing you've got going here. Um, I can give him half my gold. I can say, I can think I can jump from here. I lose 13 of my gold, my hit points. I'll throw an item at this guy and distract him to make a run for it. I lose a random item. But what if it's my good, my good one? I'm gonna take a. I'm gonna jump. I'm gonna go take a nap. Do I have a, do I have a nap? Yeah, we can go nap over here. Let's go nap. Okay, it's tough being a hero. You gotta take naps every once in a while. There's a shop. Let's go visit a shop. What do I like? Um, a random legendary when in when battle starts. Gain inventory tile rare. Gained inventory tile rare or draw as many items as draw limit when using seven items. Okay. I'm going to to a nearby enemy. Recover five hit points for every enemy killed. That's crazy. Huh. Can I do that? And then I can do like a double hit on it? That seems like a really good one. Okay. I'll take it. I can't afford anything cool now. Increase armor defense. Um, four defense. Increase inch. I, I, I'm good with that. Let's do the elite last. We got a... Whatever you are. You hit me for eight to start with. Two defense. Increase up one for every neighboring empty tile. So we could have a lot. Like right now. Six defense. He's going to hit me for eight. Um... I can just do that, and that'll give me all the defense that I need. I can also get a draw out of this. Ah. Now. Ah. There we go. What's that thing? Lose one random item every turn. Well, don't do that to me. Ooh, the cool one's up. Okay. Oh, we... Oh, man. I can't fit this now because of... Uh, well, I can do this. He's just, he's just gonna armor up, so I'm gonna get rid of this one. I wanna use this because it's new. Okay, that, that felt good. Can't do anything else. Everything all stuck on me. He's locked that one. I can't use it now. That's a bad one to lock because I can't. I can't use it. Well, uh. This guy's a little bit more annoying than the other ones. Okay, we'll do some damage to him. That's all I really can do. I'm kind of stuck. Man, you know what? I think, I think giving up those inventory spots may not, have been, may not have been the key to winning this thing. He's locking that one down again. This guy's real, real tough. Um... I'm just gonna hit him. He's gonna hit me real hard. It's gonna hurt. Okay. Is he locking down that thing again? Always. Okay, it's okay. We we got him. We got him. Oh, one white. Counted that wrong. Now he's gonna have some more defense, but that's okay, we got him. Um, oh, it hurt his armor. I was wondering what my what my that was gonna do to him. Uh, all right, let's go and I think we just do that. We got him. Okay, and I got healed. 
Uh, if you damage around an enemy when, when retrieving an item, gain two defense for every bound in... Uh, I don't want any of those. I just want spots. Give me inventory spots. Uh, we have an unknown encounter. Let's go check out, look the, take a look at this one. The Relic Archive. Relics might look the same, but the relics are all divided into very different ranks. We only handle common relics here. As a matter of fact, we're having a special event where you can exchange one relic for two random relics. Want to give it a try? A two-for-one offer? Yeah! I guess I'm going to lose a random one. I like... Please don't be the skull. No skull flag. No skull flag. Okay. I lost. Okay. I can get either a... I got both of them. I got a gauntlet. Increase damage by one for every two tiles occupied by weapons. Cool. Mountain goat punch. Whoa, not mountain goat punch. Mountain goat pouch. Gain four random inventory tiles when the battle starts if fighting a boss or elite. I accept. In fact, we want to go take a, take out the boss elite right now. Let's, let's clean up these two before we get too excited. Oh, there's three of them there now. Okay. When do we get this? Four inventory when, when, oh, when just boss or elite. Okay. So this is going to have to go in there. Oh, yeah, there's the dual wield. Yeah. It's only, gonna, it's only one square, so it's only going to hit one of them. But before I do that, I'm going to, I'm going to do this. And then I will, uh, I will do that one. Nice. Then that one won't fit. Okay. They have like, oh, they have like bird. I mean, they have birds on the back of their heads. Are they birds? I'm confused. Okay, well, we can fit this one in there. Uh, they're just going to strengthen up, so it doesn't really matter what I do. I should do the bow before I do that. Okay, now they're going to... It's going to hurt. If they get through, it's going to hurt. This will kill that one, that first guy. Maybe. I think it's actually not a bad spot. Like, I don't have anything that fits in there, so I think it's okay that that's weird. Because it fits. You know what? It works. So, uh, I will do... Oh, it's five. So I can do, like... If I didn't put that back up there, I would have killed that one. I messed up. Oh, that's right. That's the back one. Oh, yeah. Okay, this is going to hurt. It won't hurt too much. It's just gonna hurt a little bit, but I'll get my two back, I guess, whenever he dies. Uh, and we'll just get rid of him. Okay. Um, now again, it might not be a bad idea to have that like that because if I have that that one axe thing, like if I can put it here, then I can then I can line it up down here. So this is where the inventory the in thing gets. It's interesting because the inventory spots matter. Okay, I don't need those. Okay, we'll do this one, then we'll go get the we'll get the boss. Uh, bag of berries here. It might be okay to leave it in my inventory because it it does hamper what I get every round, my draw pile. Yeah, but I get the bow. That's what I was trying to decide. He just start out by hitting me by nine. I don't need that. Sandy soil. What am I supposed to do with this? I don't want this. I wonder if that's what the mountain goat pouch gives me. I don't know where that came from. Um, I really, I really want to use this. I also have the dual wheel, so it's gonna hit twice. Yeah. Yeah. So I think I'm gonna go like, get rid of that one. We're gonna kill him this round. Get rid of that one. I can move this one around. And I think... I think there's a way I can get a spot where I can get more than the three. I don't think so. Maybe I can do four. If I, so if I go there... And then we'll dual wield it. I'm sure that's how many hit points he has. Oh, he's, he's, he's giving me sandy soil when I deal when I do damage to him. I see. Um...
That's for every every empty neighboring tile. I guess I can get rid of this now, can't I? Do I want the damage? What's how much damage? That's four damage. Or do I don't want to just survive an attack. Let's let's do that. Survive an attack. And hit him next turn. I mean, my three damage will take him down. But he does get stronger as time goes on. Okay, so now this one can fit in here quite nicely. Okay, I got him this round. I should have swung with this one first, but ah, we got him. It's okay. Okay, any good cards? Retrieve used items. Uh-huh. Creature only by one. It takes two squares, though. That could be good. Uh, enhanced by one level during this battle. I'm going to try that one and see if, if it works like I think it does. And then we got Big Boss Man. Boss Man left. Okay. Gain four inventory tiles. Look at all that. Okay, we start with a bag of air. Mm. Uh, we're going to go ahead and put it up there. We got... I should have done the bow first. I was thinking it was something different. So we'll start with the bow. I'm going to try to see if I can get something... Well, I'll use the bow. And I'm going to use this. Give me uh, not that. All right. Oh, what are you doing to me? A bloodied branch. Man, keep your bloody branches to yourself. Okay, we got the good one. I want to get rid of this. I'm going to go ahead and do the bow. And this guy, I think, is going to... That'll give me... Four. Get rid of this. There we go. So now I'll do 18 damage. Twice. He's strengthening, he's bloody branching me. He's just being annoying. I'm glad I got that that perk. That's four inventory. So that's, that's, that's big. Okay. And. Two strength. Do I want to. That's 14 damage. I would get 16 damage if I remove that one. So that's plus one basically for having it there. I can move it over here though. Let's see if I can kill him this turn. 18 damage. I think maybe I got him. Got him. Okay. Vine's protection. Gain 8 defense on the second turn. Okay. I'll go ahead and fill in that pocket there. Um, draw it. Nah. Okay, next. To the gates. This is the pathway to the next area. Going through this pathway means you won't be able to return to this area again. Uh huh. Let's go. Ooh, and we're in uh in stage three, Soul Spring. Let's go see a boss. Let's go take a look at a boss, and then we'll wrap it up. Oh, f boss is freaky. Uh, you, you, why is she doing that? Okay. Okay. Which one wastes less space? Let's go with that. We're going to make sure we get more strength so we can hit things hard. And I don't like her shaking like that. It's really messing with me. I don't like it. She got so many hit points. I think I'm probably going to die here. Wow. And what's she doing? She's throwing in what? She vanishes with neighboring... When di with neighboring items when turn ends. Okay. So as long as we put things next to it. Put that there. I will sharpen... Oh, wait, wait, wait. I went there so we can sharpen it correctly. I don't need any defense this turn. 
That's not a neighboring item now. I'll have to put... Hmm. Can I move it? Oh, no. That's okay. We're going we're gonna, to we're gonna sharpen those. This is kind of a persistent one I can just sort of toss out and around or whatever. Okay, so it goes around. I thought, I thought it had to be like next to something. It's a real unfortunate place that I put it, though. I don't like that. Uh, but I can do that. Which is better. That's 20 damage. That's 18 damage. So there's 20 damage. That's that's good. Um, we, we can do the dual wield thing. Am I going to win this fight? Not a lot of defense. I'm gonna hit real hard. I guess it'd be 16 no matter where I put it. I bet I can get 18 out of it. Oh my god, that's 20. Okay, you're not gonna hit me anymore. I'm gonna toss those out. I don't need that. Damage ya. Damage ya. And... I don't need defense. Did I look at that bag wrong? I looked at that bag wrong. I thought... It just stays in my pile. I thought it meant it was going to stay in my hand. Curse can't be removed from the deck. I thought it meant it can't be removed from my hand. Okay. Okay. I thought that ain't so bad. Uh, Retrieve vanished items. What do I have in here? Yeah, you know what? Sure. How do I use it? How do I use it? I'm not sure how to use it. Um, retrieve used items. Uh huh. Yeah, I'm not sure how to use it. You know what? I didn't want to do it anyway. It was a bad idea. What was I thinking? Oh, let's use this one first. Actually, let's see if I can make more space here. Oh, I got him. I got him. You ain't nothing. I got a Phoenix Heart. Revive with 50% hit points after dying. I ain't gonna be doing any dying. Okay. Oh, yeah, that's the demo. There we go. Oh, there's Pocket Legends. This is by Shading Box. Thanks for sponsoring this video. This is a uh, demo form now. Steam page is down below. Get the demo, wish list, all that good stuff. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.